All right, well, um, I uh, took a gamble and decided to sit Nixon again tonight. Um, literally saw two deer at 200 yards across the pasture just cruising through uh, down the tree line. I thought maybe there'd be a chance that I could catch those deer coming back, um, going to where they were bedded down. Lesson learned, um, Nixon from now on for me, until something changes on the camera will be a morning sit. And right now it's really kind of a mystery where these deer are going during the day, where are they going to feed, where are they going to hang out, um, where are they going in the evening. I don't think we have more than one photo of either one of those deer that we're after in the evening anywhere um, we've got a night photo of houdini back in july like i mentioned before and then i think we have one evening photo of uh cactus jack over at incognito and that's not to say they're not there i mean they may not be walking in front of the cameras but you know it's just kind of crazy if they were there very often eventually the odds are they would step in front of one of those cameras so hunt still on i'm gonna try to get into the blind tomorrow morning it's been a been a crazy weekend it's been an awesome opening weekend We've had tons of deer um show up you know at any at any point we could have had deer on the ground but you get to a point where you know you, you set a certain standard and uh, you don't wanna, you know, back off of it. So um, hopefully we can put one of these big mature bucks on the ground in the next couple of days. Forgot that I already pushed play or record on the camera. Oh, I freaking, when I saw him coming in, I went to push record and I actually stopped it. I just freaking smoked Cactus Jack. I'm not, we're not sure exactly how many points he has. We know for at least, he's at least a 12. I saw this deer last year one time on camera. We've got him one time this year on camera and then I saw him yesterday morning at the same stand but he didn't give me a shot so I cleared some shoes lanes and thank god I did because the lane that I shot him in would have been impossible yesterday I don't know if y'all could hear that while I was in the tree. There was still a bunch of deer around, so I was trying not to spook them off. Um, I just had, I had the camera recording since early this morning, and I, for whatever reason, I was thinking I needed to reach over and push the record button. When I did, I freaking stopped the recording. Um, I had some does come in, I had a little buck come in. He was grunting, had his head down, pushing does around. I had another buck behind me. He was scraping and hitting his banging his antlers against the brush and uh i look over to my right and cactus jack is walking out and he is like seven yards from me um he walked around started eating corn um he he turned broadside at 21 yards and uh and it looked like i got a good hit on him. it looked like i smoked him i'm really upset that the the camera i did i freaking didn't catch it on camera um for two reasons. One, I want to show everybody the deer coming in and, and, you know, the shot being taken. And two, it helps go back and look and make sure that, you know, the shot was exactly where it needed to be and we don't need to let him sit. But this has been about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. So um, we're going to go over here. I'm going to look for blood and see what we can find. Well, that didn't take long. Blood here, up here. Looks like there's 
pretty good to have a blood. I feel half my air. So that means it might have been a little forward, but it looks like it's got good blood on it, so let's keep tracking it. Let me grab this. One thing that does worry me is that the arrow is not open. And I hope that that's just because it closed when it came out. Dude, oh my god. October 3rd. Uh, this is a deer we've been seeing on camera this last, well, we saw him once last year and then we got him on camera once this year and then I filmed him yesterday morning and didn't get a shot. Um, we've been calling him Cactus Jack because we knew he had some junk going on here. You know, he's got some stuff branching off of his beams, but uh, we weren't 100% we weren't sure what this deer was actually. And until I walked up to him, I really had no idea what I had done. But uh, so it turns out he's a 15 point. Um, and it looks like he really would be a, a mainframe 10, but he's just got all of this stuff going on. So uh, got out here this morning Got in the blind a little early, but um, had to come in yesterday and clear some shooting lanes to make sure that I would have a shot because the everywhere he was at yesterday, I couldn't get on him. Um, and it's a good thing I did because he came in, he was at 10 yards when I first saw him, went out, started eating. He was at 20 yards whenever I let the hammer down. So he ran about a hundred yards and uh, there he lied. So. All in all, it's uh, kind of bittersweet. It's early in the season. Um, thanks, Garrett, for coming out and helping me get some pictures, helping me get him set up and, and doing some videoing for me. And uh, y'all be looking to see Garrett with his big buck coming in the next couple of weeks because I guarantee you he's going to be hitting it hard now.